Welcome to Bolt Energy USA. This is the 73 volt lithium battery installation video into a club car precedent. This step by step guide demonstrates how to go from old lead acid batteries to a single 73 volt Bolt Energy USA lithium golf cart battery. Bolt Energy highly recommends having a trained golf car or battery technician perform all battery maintenance on your vehicle. Bolt also highly recommends using personal protective equipment during the battery installation. In addition to this tool list, you may also need small gauge wiring supplies. Your Bolt Energy USA battery will ship inside of a drop proof box. The owner's manual packet is also inside the battery box. Before beginning the installation, please read through the owner's manual packet for valuable information about the battery, the installation, and the Bolt Energy USA 10 year warranty. Bolt batteries come with two installation kit options. The standard installation kit is perfect for newer model cars or golf cars that have been previously upgraded to today's standards. The professional installation kit is the most complete installation kit on the market and comes with everything you need to update your vehicle to today's standards. In this video, we will be installing the professional installation kit. Put the golf car's key in the off position, put the vehicle in tow mode, disconnect and remove the eight lead acid batteries. Remove this 10 millimeter screw on the forward trim piece. Remove the two T40 torque screws on each side to remove the side trim panels. Remove the floor mat. Use a T40 Torx bit to remove the three mounting screws on the front trim panel. Pop the charge receptacle cover off and discard. Use a T30 Torx bit to remove the four shell mounting screws. This will create enough space to lift the shell and remove the front trim panel. Using a Phillips head bit, remove the three screws that hold the OEM charge receptacle in place. Access the controller and solenoid compartment by removing this T40 Torx screw. Pull the access panel into the battery compartment. Disconnect the two wires from the charge receptacle at the vehicle's OBC and B negative port on the controller. Remove and discard the OEM charge receptacle. Remove the main negative cable at the B negative port on the controller. Cut the end off, pull it through the OBC and discard. Disconnect the vehicle's main wiring harness from the OBC. Cut the six wires close to the OBC and retain the wiring harness end for a future step. Using a grinder, remove the center plastic ridge from the battery compartment. Remove this area of the battery compartment to allow the wiring harnesses to be routed along the bottom of the battery tray. First, install the Bolt Energy USA 2 gauge main battery cables. Secure the Bolt Energy main negative cable to the controller's B negative port and tighten using a torque wrench to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds. Disconnect the old solenoid and remove. Then secure the new Bolt Energy USA 400 amp solenoid in its place. Replace the spade connecting ends of the small solenoid wires with eyelets. Using a seven millimeter socket, secure the small wires to the Bolt solenoid on the same side they came off the original solenoid. The B plus wire from the controller side of the solenoid will need to have the eyelet enlarged or replaced to fit on the new solenoid's larger post. Install the enlarged B positive cable and tightened with a 17 millimeter socket and torque wrench. Install the bolt two gauge main positive cable to the battery side of the solenoid and tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds using a 17 millimeter socket and torque wrench. Install the Bolt Energy USA onboard charger inside the battery compartment using self tapping screws. You can hide excess wiring between the battery compartment and the golf cart's outer shell. 
Locate the small black signal wire on the output side of the charger. Route the signal wire to the controller and solenoid compartment. Connect the blue wire from the vehicle's wiring harness connecting end that was removed and cut away from the OBC. You will need to crimp a spay connector on the end of the blue wire and plug it into the corresponding spay connector from one of the signal wire ends. Cap off and insulate all unused wires and signal wire ends. Plug the wiring harness connector in back into the vehicle's main wiring harness. This will keep the charger interlock feature functional and not allow the golf cart to operate while the charger is plugged in. Complete all wire management and reinstall the controller access panel. Secure the bolt voltage reducer inside the battery compartment using self-tapping screws. The ACC port, we will create a wire and route it to the dash and then secure it to the cold side of the key switch. There is a positive and negative 73 volt input which will go to the battery terminals. Then there are positive and negative 12 volt output wires which will be routed to the vehicle's 12 volt load. This vehicle has two or more 12 volt accessories so a fuse block was installed. Place the first bracket inside the battery compartment on the passenger side. Mark two holes inside the mounting hardware slots. Be sure not to drill through the vehicle's main frame. Drill the holes, replace the mounting bracket, and insert the mounting hardware. Go underneath the golf car and cut away the form plastic around the mounting hardware to allow space for the washers and nuts. Tighten the mounting hardware using a 13 mm socket and wrench. It will be very helpful to have assistance to complete this step. Next, place the second mounting bracket in place. Measure 21 and 1 quarter inches from mounting hole to mounting hole. Mark the mounting slots, remove the bracket, drill the holes, reinsert the bracket and the mounting hardware. Go under the golf car and cut away any form plastic that obstructs the washer and nuts, hand tighten, re-verify 21 and 1 quarter inches from mounting hole to mounting hole, then tighten the mounting hardware. Set the Bolt Energy USA 73 volt 105 amp hour battery on the mounting brackets. Insert the mounting hardware and tighten using a 13 millimeter socket. Starting on the positive side, go smallest to biggest, biggest touching the battery's post. The smallest item is the 73 volt input wire from the 12 volt reducer, followed by the red wire from the charger's pigtail, and lastly the new Bolt Energy USA main positive battery cable. Secure to the post and tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds using a 13 millimeter socket and torque wrench. Once tightened, place the positive terminal cover in place. Same thing on the negative side, go smallest to biggest. The smallest item is the 73 volt input ground for the 12 volt reducer, followed by the black wire from the charger's pigtail, and finally the new Bolt Energy main negative battery cable. Secure to the post and tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds using a 13 millimeter socket and torque wrench. Finalize by sliding the black terminal cover in place. Plug the state of charge meter wiring harness into the display port on the battery. Route the wiring harness along with the ACC wire from the 12 volt reducer to the dash area, securing to existing wiring harnesses along the way. Use a T30 Torx bit to remove two mounting screws and use a T15 to remove the top screw to release the dash panel. Make a perfect hole using a 2 and 1 16 inch hole saw. Insert the Bolt Energy USA state of charge meter. 
Do not press the center of the meter when pushing it into place. Plug in and screw tight the meter's wiring harness into the back of the state of charge meter. Secure the state of charge meter to the dash using the provided U-bracket and wing nut. Route and secure the ACC wire to the blue wire on the vehicle's key switch. This is the activation switch, which will activate the 12 volt supply when the key switch is in the on position and deactivate the 12 volt supply when the key switch is off. Secure excess wire and replace the dash panel. Plug the Bluetooth receiver into the BT port on the battery. Use the magnet on the back side of the receiver to secure it to the top of the battery. Plug in the charger's pigtail into the green charger output wire to connect the charger to the battery. To install the Bolt Energy USA AC port, simply use the provided screws to secure the cover plate to the golf car's front trim panel. Insert the heavy duty AC port. Use the three provided screws to secure the AC port to the cover plate. Plug the AC port into the charger's black input wire. Perform wire management and reinstall the front trim panel. At this point, replace the remainder of the trim pieces in the opposite order they came off. Test for golf car operation by pressing the battery's on-off button. Put the golf car in run mode. Turn the key switch to the on position. Put the golf car in forward and lightly press the accelerator. Your Bolt Energy USA battery will ship at 50% capacity or less, so it is highly recommended to run a complete charge cycle before using the battery. Simply plug in your Bolt Energy charging extension cord. The onboard charger will activate, run a complete charge cycle, and shut off when finished. While you're waiting for your Bolt Energy battery to max charge, go ahead and download the Bolt Energy USA mobile application on the Android or iOS app stores. Open the application and select your battery. The application will connect to the battery via a Bluetooth connection and display the battery's information in real time. If you scroll down, you can check the battery's internal health. And if you scroll down further, you will see the two most important features of the mobile app that you will probably never need to use. The update firmware feature allows existing Bolt Energy battery owners to remotely update their battery's firmware should a new firmware release. The Send Data feature allows a Bolt Energy technician to remotely diagnose your battery in the extremely rare event of a warranty claim. Simply select Send Data. Your battery's data log will be displayed. Click the Mail icon. Select Email and email to support at boltenergyusa.com. A Bolt technician will receive your data log, diagnose, and immediately begin the warranty process should your battery need replacement. This feature makes the warranty process simple and efficient. Thank you for watching the Bolt Energy USA 73 volt 105 amp hour lithium golf cart battery installation into a club car precedent. We hope this video answered any questions you may have had. If you have additional questions or would like to order a Bolt Energy USA battery, please visit the dealer locator link in the description of this video. You can find links to local authorized dealers as well as recommended online dealers. You can also contact Bolt Energy USA technical support directly Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the number listed below. There are also links for more information about Bolt Energy USA's 10-year warranty, as well as the 73-volt batteries product data sheet. As always, hit the like and subscribe buttons. We have more installation and product videos coming out on a regular basis, 
So we hope to see you next time. Thank you.